If you are literally a mover and a shaker, you have to know Hey Champ, who are with us here today. Hello, gentlemen. How you doing? Very good. Whenever I hear anyone say Hey Champ, I immediately think like Boston or East Coast type of vibe, like Hey Champ, Hey Boss. Is that sort of the crux of how the band name came about, or is that a Chicago thing? And it's kind of a, a it's kind of a term people use either when like they're really cheesy or when they're like about to let someone down. Like, you know, you're gonna let down your son or something, you're like, oh, hey champ, I'm real sorry. Uh -huh. So it's just kind of, it has that sort of uh, duality and that uh, kind of plays into our music too. We're yeah. also very athletic, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> you I can totally tell, tell. especially champions. Pete. He's yeah. just like bulging out of that t-shirt over there. <laughs> yeah. Gymnastics championship, you that's know? Right, that's right. <laughs> Did you do the rings in high school? No, I wish I did though. I mean, that would have been a pretty impressive. Yeah. I was a swimmer. I was a swimmer. You can tell by his barrel chest. That's, That's right. right. I'm right. telling you, like, out of the, out of the four of us, like, yeah, there's no hope right there. Those, those are full C's, I think. <laughs> The, uh, the track Cold Dust Girl, everybody's dancing to it, everybody loves it. Uh, is this something that you guys sort of hit the ground running saying, you know, this is it. This is the, the first thing that we're creating and, and really polished it up for everybody to listen to. In this, in this formation it is, because we've been a band for three years in kind of different formations that we started kind of more of a indie pop Beatles type thing. And with the addition of Pete, we kind of solidified the sound and Cold Dust Girl was the first track where we were kind of like, all right, this is, this is where we want to go. And the, the forthcoming album will kind of reflect that sound. You've definitely garnered a lot of attention from vlogs and DJs alike who have been, used you guys to remix their songs and, and so forth. You know, you, you've quickly ascended into the electro world, so to speak. We also DJ a bit ourselves and, you know, Pete made a lot of connections with the Chicago DJs and they just started, after a while, people started approaching us to do remixes and then, you know, random people started approaching us and, you know, as we were in the studio more, we got better at doing, doing that kind of stuff and so it's, it's, it's really, really fun to be able to go play a rock show and then later or the next day just go and DJ at a club and then the next day we're in the studio doing a remix for some, you know, large name band which is pretty awesome, it's pretty fulfilling as artists and producers. Now on your guys' bio all over the websites that I've seen, there's not a lot of information but you guys champion yourselves as the third best thing to come out of Rockford, Illinois. Behind Cheap Trick, and I forget his name, Michael from Blossom. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. indeed, indeed. It, it was a pretty, pretty tough town, I'd say, to, uh, to grow up in, because uh, culturally there's a little bit of a void, but then we have these certain pockets. Cheap Trick, awesome yeah. uh, man. Great family friends of mine. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. I grew up in Rick Nielsen, the guitarist house, since I was five. So he got us, I, I used to, I've seen probably 150 of their shows, and they're definitely an inspiration, but that's that's what's cool is we at least have a few claim to fame because there's really nothing. I mean, there's not a whole lot in Rockford besides yeah. Cheap Trick and my family. Yeah, so. <laughs> you know, I, I mentioned to my mom about how you know we're listening to Hey Champ in the car, and you know, we're going to dinner, and she's like, "This is cool. What is this?" You know, I'm just telling her, "Yeah, I'm going to talk to the guys from Rockford, Illinois." And she's like, "Rockford is." Is that like the home of the Rockford Files or something? And, you know, and the Peaches, thinking, Rockford Peaches. <laughs> oh, peaches. <laughs> props too. When is the album coming out? Um, we're shooting shooting for the fall. Um, I think the date as of right now is the is the fall. It's really getting us being able to sit down and with our label and figuring that out. But the album's done. It sounds amazing. Um, we're really excited about it. And we're um, already talking to some people about um, some bigger names about doing some remixes and stuff like that, you know, which is fantastic, you know, it's a dream. What's the album going to be called? Star. Star. Yes. Wow. Casey Kasem inspired here, keep your feet on the it's ground. It's like the, it's the champion thing, yeah. you know? If you're a champ, you get a gold star on your, uh, on your paper. <laughs> <laughs> on piano lessons, right. you get on the right. song, right? All right, well, I'm gonna leave the gold star jokes out. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time, I really love your music. Oh, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Uh, hey Champ is here, and the album will be called Star. We don't know when it's going to be released yet, but hopefully very soon. This is B-Sides. Yeah.